Afternoon everybody, Madam Roy back again. Today I thought I'd do a little bit different video. Um, I know a lot of you guys collect the, the watch my channel collect these uh, vintage TVs and I don't have a lot of items like that but I do have this. It is a Sony Trinitron model KV1325R. This dates from about uh, mid-1987. Um, I picked this up probably about, actually it's probably been about seven or eight years ago at a garage sale for ten dollars. Um, as a lot of you guys probably know, back in the 80's Trinitron was, you know, Sony Trinitron was leading edge. Um, they basically made the, the best, one of the best tubes out there. Let me go ahead and turn this on real quick. And it takes just a minute. As you can see, it's got that nice uh, vacuum fluorescent uh, on-screen display there. Sorry about the bars, guys. Uh, it's the refresh rate problem. Um, that that funky-looking uh, circle is not showing on the TV. That's also just because of the camera. Let's go over some of the features of this fine old TV set. Um, got the power button right here, and I was having some issues with this. Um, I would push it, it wouldn't turn on, I'd have to push really hard, and sometimes the TV would just uh, turn on by itself randomly. So what I wound up doing is I had a little contact cleaner. I, I didn't even have to take it apart, I sprayed it just around the edges and uh, worked it in, and as you can see, works just fine right now. Got the remote sensor bar right there. This is for tuning channels. Let's see if I can get a little more light on the subject here. There you go. There's channel up and down, volume up and down, and this actually has a very unique uh, volume bar. As you can see, it actually goes almost all. It goes basically from one side to the other. There are no numbers like on a modern TV. It's literally just a bar that back down. Uh, this is interesting. This is actually a uh, focus a TV video switch which is really nifty because this actually has RCA jacks in the back so I can switch from regular TV to the video signal. Then under here we have let's break out the light again uh, picture adjustment, that is a digital buttons right there. Those are actual buttons you can push. You have uh, add and erase, which is for adding and erasing uh, the channels when it's in TV mode. Um, you have a cable on and off switch, so if you don't have cable you just switch that to off. Um, and then you have your color, I'm sorry, bright color and hue, which is what, they, what the Trinitron calls the tint. I just, I just always thought it was very interesting that the only digital picture control was the actual <laughs> picture. Um, and that's the same thing as the contrast on most other tubes. They Again, Trinitron and Sony were a little quirky. They wanted to use different names. And last but not least on the front, we have just a little headphone jack. And it is only mono, so earbuds would probably be the best to use with this. Okay. One other oddity with this, and I think it's actually a good thing, is the placement of this one speaker. And it's actually right on the top here. I don't know if I can get any good light so you can see it in there. Nothing huge. I would say that's probably a 4 or 5 inch speaker. But uh, it definitely has some good sound to it. If I move this stuff off, and yes, I have this hooked up to my uh, Retro Duo Nintendo system here. Turn this around, and in the back here, you can see that it has the RCA jacks. Again, it's mono, so just one, just just two. I'm actually using the red for video and the white for audio in this case. Then you have your 75 ohm coaxial cable back there, and it does work, but I don't have it hooked up to cable or a, a converter box right now. 
and unfortunately the sticker which used to show the date and all the information on it has come off over the years. It used to sit like right here. And I'm telling you, this TV actually has a fantastic picture. And I'm going to show that to you in just a sec. Here we go. And I'm going to turn this down because I don't want the copyright police getting on my case. I don't have any strikes, and I'd like to kind of keep it that way. But I can at least show you the picture. Just turn this on real quick. And there you go, The Legend of Zelda. And you can see it is really, really sharp for its age. There's definitely no uh, degradation in the tube whatsoever. And this has pretty high hours. The, the guy I purchased it from used this as his main TV from when he bought it in, I think he said, 87 to about 96 or 97 when they got the the new TV. So anyway, that's just a quick look at this beautiful Sony Trinitron, again model KV1325R. Um, if you guys like these videos, uh, please let me know, leave it in the comments. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and have a blessed day everybody.